fucking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right. What is up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze to Mythic. Show our depth my account from Bronze to Mythic. Force Bronze to Worlds here. I'm prepping for Worlds. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube channel. Hit the bell. Hit the sub button. Support the channel for free. It takes half a second. Just like everybody who watch. Leave a comment. Sub a channel. Free to do. Supports me. It's, it's my job, folks. I got a baby on the way. We got a baby coming in less than a month, all right? It's freaking crazy over here. So, we are currently in episode 17. About to do draft number 17. And we are in Diamond. Diamonds are forever. And uh, let's get back to the draftos, all right? This has been, this has been great. Uh, very, very challenging format, both in draft and in gameplay, but having a lot of fun. Uh, all of our decks have been different, and uh, this has been really, really cool. So I'd like to know your thoughts, honestly. What does everyone feel, feel about the format? I feel like it's been, it's a very challenging format. I can see folks get a little frustrated because it, it does, it's just very, very difficult. The drafts are very, very dynamic. The gameplay is tough. And, like, I wonder um, if that's, like, fun for some players or not fun for some players. And, um, I don't know. It's fun for me. I'm, I'm having a great time. Uh, but I can see it being frustrating if you don't draft as much, stuff like that. But well, let's get in here. Uh, I thought I saw Shouldered. It's actually already made better, though. All right. So, we open up an absolute nut so rare. The Cruelty of Gix. Bingo. All right. Five Minute Saga, read ahead. Uh, first chapter is a Thought Seize for a Creature of Planeswalker. Second chapter is a Grim Tutor. And third chapter is a reanimation spell, which is really, really good. Uh, very, very powerful card. Uh, you can see here LSV gives it a 5.0 ranking on the untapped overlay. Uh, download untapped for free using my link in chat or in the YouTube description. This is the Draft Smith. And of course, the dynamic ranking also loves it too. It's over a 50, which is crazy. Pack also has Battling Mystic, uh, Dragon Whelp, Balmor, which is insane. Uh, a couple good dual lands and a lightning strike. So very good pack, passing a lot of good red and blue cards. Like the next, the next four best cards of this pack are all red and blue, which is kind of crazy actually. Uh, so take cruelty and uh, probably try and stay out of blue red if possible. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what comes. Obviously, pretty good pack though. Oh my! Let's go. Let's let's start this day off right, folks. We get past the braids uh, with an uncommon missing. There's also a cult conscript too. What is happening? What is going on? All right, so Conscript is actually really, really good. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty easy braids here. And back-to-back uh, -back black rares um, to start off our draft. Ooh, boom booms. Bone Splinters, Goblin Picker. Yeah, not a very good pack here. This pack kind of thinned out a little bit real fast. But oh, no, Karn, are there boom booms? Are there boom booms? Come here. Come here. There's boom booms. Karn doesn't like doesn't like thunderstorms. Doesn't like him one bit. Everyone said I had a Karn. Karn's gonna be my co-star today. Gonna be a co-star, Karn? No, you can just be here. You can be present if you want. All right, so we're gonna splinters here, I think. Uh, just the best card in the pack. Uh, it's a little awkward, so you kind of need to be like a certain deck for it. It's almost like a black-white split card. But no other card here is that exciting. The red cards are all middling. Um, this card's good if you're aggressive. We're not sure if we're aggressive or not. It's a couple, a couple bears. Monstrosity is also a little awkward, too. We'll take Bone Splinters here. We'll try and cut black, I think. See, so, yeah, I'm not thrilled with Bone Splinters, uh, third pick, but... All right. And we get past the back with uh, Hexbane Tortoise, Colossal Growth, and Broken Wings, a bunch of milling green cards. Uh, Griffin is, like, kind of all right. It is not super exciting. More middling red cards. Monstrosity. Might just take Mire here. I feel like a green-blacky kind of deck could be cool. Uh, but Swarm's okay. Honestly, yeah, a lot, pretty pretty big uh, night and day here with these with these packs. The first two packs were insane. Next two packs not as good. Um, I'm gonna take the land here though. We can uh, battle five storm is pretty cool. Actually, I actually mean, haven't played this card yet. Um, it's kind of sweet, very solid little card. But let's take the uh, take the one admire. Sam, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. How's it going? All right, bite down warhorse captain's call. A late lookout and a urborg repossession as well. Um, this card's very, very good. Captain's Call makes sense if we're going to be like a, uh, like a tokeny deck. Uh, white does not seem particularly open, though, honestly. Warhorse is, uh, is also reasonable that respect. Repossession is very, very good. This card is excellent. Uh, Bite Down is pretty good, obviously. Grove's kind of cool. Oh, that's true, actually. This card can get back to Saga, which is insane. Yeah, man. Card's great anyway, so... 
Keep the black cards filling. There's an Erg, Spawn of Turg. Another Captain's Call, but I think we're going to lean towards green black. Uh, the white cards haven't really been there aside from the uh, Captain's Call. Erg's actually really good if it like you can cast it. And we obviously are heavy black right now looking at green. So, Erg. Give me the old Ergy Turgy. You have a Maya Sojourner, Shadow Prophecy, more middling red cards. Prophecy's fine. Um, obviously, just drawing two cards is fine, if unexciting. You have Maya Sojourner, not super interesting. Yeah, weird, weird, weird packs. First two packs were so good. The remaining packs have not been great, but take Prophecy. A lot of green cards. Sentry's very solid. I'm very happy taking Sentry here. Erg not costing blue, blue, red, green is a sin. That's pretty funny. Uh, yeah, Sentry's great. It's a solid, solid common playable. Uh, Vine Shaper Prodigy or Splatter Goblin. Obviously, Prodigy requires a splash to be good, but it is a good grindy card. Splatter Goblin's fine too, though. Uh, plays all braids. Um, we're going to Splatter Goblin here. I like Pro I like Prodigy, but we're not necessarily blue yet. Uh, no real reason to be blue. And this is just a, a better on-color uh, two-drop. So looking at like a grindy... Uh, green black deck. We could maybe splash blue. Uh, as a late, as a very late espionage card is quite good. Nothing else here is remotely playable. Let's take the espionage. And uh, I mean, this pack's pretty awful. I'll take the monstrosity maybe. Let's see what's up. Hexbane. Oh wow, battle five strong tables. So black does seem really open, which is great. So hopefully we'll uh, we'll get there on the black. Tablet's not ideal. So that card's fine, I guess. All right, so last pick to cancel. Pack number two, we're going to open up a Shadow Right Priest. Uh, not as exciting of a black rare, honestly. It's it's not a bad card, but there aren't many clerics in the set. Uh, um, so it's not like you're really doing anything with it. It's just like a bear for the most part. Uh, you got Tribute to Urborg here, which is great. Sanger kind of sword, which is okay. It's not a great card. It's fine. It's it's passable. Um, I would take Tribute over over uh, Shadow Right, though. A couple lands, whatever. Uh, Elf and Worms also just a solid card, but you know it's, it's fine. Um, tribute here, pretty pretty easy tribute. It's fine to open up another black rare, but it's not really good for us. So, um, yeah, tribute's great. We need top end. Oh, we'll get plenty of top end. Don't you worry. Uh, all right. It's just like black rare day, I guess. Uh, so you get past the back with an uncommon missing, and they didn't take cut down or drag the bottom, uh, which is awesome. And I think drag the bottom is probably at its best in a green deck also, or you can play large toughness creatures. Uh, like Urg will probably survive it probably. Uh, yeah, it's pretty pretty wide open here. It's pretty good for us. Hopefully we'll table this Haunted Mire maybe. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, this is really, really good. Black's, black rare deck. Uh, Electrostatic Infantry, Extinguish the Light, Tribute, Repossession, Telerian Terror. Uh, so yeah, black, super, super open, like comically open. Um, taking Extinguish here, I like that better than, uh, than Urborg or, uh, Tribute, already have a Tribute. We're not sure if we're blue or not, so pretty easy Extinguish here. Black is super open. It's like, we're not even like that green, honestly. We have like a few green cards, but we could just be black anything at this point. Um... I think I do occasionally. I'm locking in a little too early on a color. Like, we had the Urg in the century. I'm like, oh, we're, we're green. But, like, we don't really have that many green cards, honestly. Uh, blue, black could be possible. Uh, I guess we have the, re, re, the re, re, repossession also. But, all right, we got past a very late Phyrexian Missionary. This card is really, really good. Um, we also saw our Rona's Vortex if we were, if we were blue. Um, oh, the boom, boom. You hear that? You hear that, chat? Karn heard it. Karn love boom booms. Missionary is insane. Vortex is also really good too, though. Uh, we're not even like touching white right now, whereas we have a few blue elements. We have espionage and uh, tribute. It's a late missionary. That's a really late missionary. I'm gonna take the yeah, the vortex though. Um, make the doggo cam larger. He's right here. I mean, what do you want? What do you want from me? He's just right here. Ooh, that pack's stinky. I mean, prophecy is like okay, obviously, but. Not a very exciting pack. It's funny, it might even be Librarian. I feel like Librarian's just fine. This card's like, when you're like struggling on mana or whatever, just you just play it, scry, it's blood. just like a fine card. It's not super exciting, but... Um, 
Yeah, I already have, I already have prophecy. Let's just take the uh, take the librarian. Uh, man, how open is black? So now you have a land or the pilgrim, and again we're kind of like we're not. We have zero white cards at the moment. White seems a little bit open. We've already passed a lot of white. I don't know. Pilgrim's obviously good, but like just like a two drop splash isn't very good. I'm just thinking the land here. Yeah, just take the uh, take the land. All right, uh, Teler a late Telerian geyser too. All right, sweet. Yeah, I'm in. Blue, blue is where it's at at this point. Telerian geyser, a late choking miasma. Uh, I say we don't want this card in our deck because we already have the we have a wrath. The card's not great. So, second shadow prophecy not great. Sword Drake's fun. Let's take, take, take the Drake here. So, in the connoisseur tables, I think connoisseur connoisseur is fine in our deck. Tablet out of here. Uh, a kind of late warhorse. Let's see. Joint exploration. This is fine too. All right. So we're like moving in on blue black. We get a late Rona, which is not like the best card ever, but it's honestly just fine for already blue black. So we're not going to play this thing. We got two lands right now. Um,. We've got a Sentry, a late Essence. Yeah, Blue's open, actually. I think we actually found the right lane. Blue seems pretty open, too, so... Our deck's, like, almost freaking done. Haha, <laughs> but... Tribute, Espionage, Soren, Drake, Geyser, Braid. Our Braids isn't, like, the best Braids ever, but it's just, like... Our 3 3 for 3 is fine, also. Uh, yeah, Prophecy, can I help? Yeah, thank you. All right, thank you, yes. Hi, how are you? Uh, a Micromancer in Pack 3 would be insane. That'd be really good. A Last Pick Exploration... Let me open up a Squee. Uh, Squee is really good, but there's also a Writhing Necromass, which is pretty great. Um, we're not like that creaturey, honestly. We're pretty pretty spell heavy. This is more this is more of a uh, a Talarian Terror deck than a uh, a Necromass deck. Um, man, what do we want here? So we got Necromass. Splashing Squee seems pretty difficult, honestly. Squee is really good, but... I guess we already have, like, an... Yeah. Um, I guess it's Necromass. Take Necromass. Temporary Lockdown, Acolyte, Tail Swipe, Splatter Goblin, Vine Shaper, another Telerian Geyser? Alright, sure. The Geyser's pretty great. So we have like a green land and a couple green cards we could play, but we're pretty blue black at this point. Um, yeah, geyser are just like great. So pretty easy geyser here. Another Rona's Vortex or Extinguish the Light. Jeez. Um, what's better? They're very very similar cards, just like four mana kill a creature. But Vortex exiles it, so you don't have to worry about graveyard stuff, whereas this might gain some life. Uh, Vortex is a little more flexible, too, I suppose. That's true. Life gain. I mean, we don't really want to kill a three drop with this, you know? So, yeah, I'll take the Vortex. <laughs> We've certainly found the lane, I guess. Um, all right. Yeah, I guess another Vortex is fine. Uh, Desecrator's okay, but, like, uh, I think that Kill Spell is just better, so. Take another Vortex. We're not playing Bone Splinter, that's for damn sure. We've got... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, I mean, Tributary doesn't really do much for us. Nothing else really does either, though. Sure. Whatever. Um, late Yabamaya Sojourner. I don't mind a big idiot in this deck, honestly. I feel like, although we are like way ahead on freaking playables right now. We have so many playables. Um, another Espionage. Another Sojourner. A Tattered Apparition. I'm a little concerned with like actually winning the game, honestly. But I guess we have like recursion and stuff. I think just espionage here. We had to cut so many cards. <laughs> um, yeah, not playing. I don't think so. Splatter goblin. I mean, 
I should I should I should take it to land there. That was stupid. We have too many playables. I should have taken the uh, the the scry land. That was a mistake. Um Yeah. I think we're just like straight blue black. White land for vortex. We have a we have a white land now. The splatter goblin. Yeah, this deck really wants Telerian Terror. I really, uh, I really agree with that. I'd say we're just like not. I don't think we're playing black. I think we're just like play the play the green land for the. Uh, I don't think we're playing these joint explorations either. Um, another blue land. Yeah, we're still playing the land for the repossession, but I should mine another another. Look at this. Look at this. Freaking tables. Um. Okay. We, uh... We have so many freaking cards. Prophecy's bad. Um... Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Karn is laying his head in the table. I can't see you down there, stupid. Alright. Demir. That's it. Just Demir. No, no questions there. No questions asked. Get these out of here. Triple Vortex. Swarm. Possession. Scatter. This is a few too many splatter goblins, I think. Um, only have one green source. You have like two incidental red sources, but I'm a little concerned with like actually winning the game. Um, our braids is also not very good either, but it's just a three three. It's fine, I think. I think we still play it. It's a good scatter goblin, splatter goblin, I guess. Uh, Tribute Volhar, card draw. Yeah, no micromancer kind of sucks a little bit. Um, you know, we're leaning pretty hard on Cruelty and Necromass as our ways to, like, win the game. Um, we can drain with the, this thing and this thing, I guess, too, but I don't think Cruelty is great here. This is, like, the best card. Without this card, I actually wouldn't like our deck. I feel like we wouldn't be able to win the game. You can take your opponent's stuff, too, folks. This card's actually just busted. Um, um, yeah, Spider Goblin makes Braids much more reasonable. We don't need Shadow Prophecy because we already have Espionage. Um, I think we're playing uh, playing 16 lands in this deck. We have like double cantrips, looter, cheap spells, double divination, scry. Um, yeah, it's just it, this card's this card's really good. Um, so we're gonna go splatter goblin in uh, this thing, the white source, the green source. So we have a white source for our geyser kickers and a green source for our our, our repo kicker. Um, it's funny. I kind of want. Another green source because I really want to. I really want to kick this up uh, possession, but um, yeah. I mean, Erg is super sweet, but no. Nah, but we don't. We don't need Bone Splinter because we have nineteen removal spells already. We almost have. We almost have too much removal. We have Triple Vortex, Essence Scatter, Tribute, uh, Double Geyser, Extinguish the Light, Drag the Bottom. You know, like, we have an insane amount of removal. So, um. I do wish our mana worked out a little better for uh, for playing the green cards. I would I would really like to have the Abamaya and the er, the Erg in this deck, just like high toughness, good win conditions. But one prophecy better than espionage? No, this card's great. Like looking at three cards and binning one versus just drawing two, not losing life, and potentially kicking it and getting the card from them is two. So, um. So yeah, I think this is our deck. Um, look at our Landos. Uh, we have a little more black than blue. And let's play some creepy lands here. Oh, not those, those are ugly. Uh, some of these. And some creepy, uh, creepy swamps. One more swamp than island. And uh, this deck looks pretty good. Doesn't the majority of your rule being bounce or talk work against Gix? What am I gonna do? Not play Gix? You know, like it's you know, yeah, yeah, I mean you're you're right, but uh so yeah, so right now drag the bottom is minus two, minus three, possibly minus four, minus four. Um Dylan, thanks to Risa, I appreciate that. Um You can start acting up. Librarian's okay. It's not great, but it's I don't think there's a card I want to play over it, you know, and just like having a creature is just like a nice thing to have. Just like fine. It's a good, it's a good stabilizing card. Our top end's pretty good, so all right, that's uh, 
That's our deck, folks. This is a pretty nice one. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, this deck seems pretty sweet. I would wish. I wish we had like one more bomb rare or like big uncommon or honestly like a Teler it's one Telerian terror. Like I would trade this Necromaster for two terrors. I don't think our deck's awesome, but you know what time it is, folks. It is prediction time. Time to place your bets. Will this deck get seven wins? Yes or no? What do you think? Seven wins? Yes or no? Place your bets if you're on YouTube. Take a second, pause the video, scroll to the comments, like the video along the way, leave a comment saying hi, Karn, hi, Karn, boom, booms. And say believer or non-believer. And uh, what do you think? Seven wins, yay or nay? Let's go. Bronze Mythic. Bronze Mythic. All right. And it's great. Keep. What's up, DJ? Appreciate your bits. Thanks so much. All right. So we're going to uh, get rid of this. Hey, chat. Coming out with me. Karn's got my uh, my, sound, my soundboard hand right now. Ooh, that's, that's good for us. Balfi Swarm. Good thing for Splatter Goblin to get. Splatter Goblin. Battlefly. Walla? Okay. Um, I think we're going to attack off of the trade and probably just geyser the root Walla. Green Demon, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Take two on your upkeep. You're a 6 6. Green Demon's great. Oops. Just gonna cast this now. Get the velocity going. There's your Rona. It's not great or anything, just fine. Yeah, just a fine card. Ruwal is back. We get to attack again, because we're not blocking, so. They're, they're, not, they're not blocking either. We're gonna play land, play Rona. And say go. This thing now pumps uh, to a 5-5, so we can't block, which is fine. We have Cruelty next turn into Connoisseur. So. Parent Floyd, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Erg. They have their own Erg. All right, well, you know what time it is, folks. It's Cruelty time. Uh, I'll attack first, actually. They could have Gaia's Might, which would be a little awkward, but it's only plus... 3 plus 3. They couldn't kill my Rona. So we're not blocking the Root Walla anyway. So just attack here. Oh, I forgot the uh, origin story. Jorge, what's up, my friend? From Mexico. Sweet. Grand Demon. Awesome. We're going to block the 2 and not the 3. Interesting. All right. Well, it's cruelty time. Cruelty time. Chapter 1, please. What do you got in your hand? They've got... Kind of bullshit, actually. Uh, they have no creatures. They have two good removal spells and repossession. So there are currently no creatures in any graveyard. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Alright. Well, I guess I get to... Uh, I guess I get to go look for... Uh, I should have killed it anyway. This is ridiculous. This is preposterous. I guess, like, it did trade well with Terra Sunder, but... Alright. Sure, I guess... They have another removal spell in their hand and the reanimation spell. So we're going to kick Espionage, I guess. Um, can't really attack. Play Connoisseur, but just kill it, obviously. So let's just kick it, I guess. Kick it. They're already at 12, which is kind of cool. Draw two, you discard one, you draw a splatter goblin. They, just, they just start they discard extinguish the light. I guess they no, you can cast it. What the hell is this card? They would discard extinguish the light. Oh my god, I'm terrified now. Um uh, I mean, once again we're not blocking. We just act. I guess I would be I'd be trading the Rona for this thing. That's bad. And there's a go. Probably just block the wall and just kill the swarm. If they attack, so. Jeez. You're blocking the wall with Splatter Goblin's excellent because it makes them pump it. Hello, darkness, my old friend. This is bullshit. In case you were wondering. 
This is bullshit. All right. Um, I take my desecrator. Sure. We draw a repossession. Um, I guess as long as we can keep creatures out of the graveyard, we can fizzle their thing next turn. But there's 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 no tutor next turn. Also, this is so gross. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess we can like attack with both. Play connoisseur. They can't death touch, so like, you can just get in, I guess. They're gonna lose three lives, so doing damage to them is very, very important. They block the 05, take two. Sure, it's fine. Alright, you're up, I guess. So they get to Erg and then cast a Grim Tutor. <laughs> so unfair. What are you ugh about? Is there a problem? Dude, I think it's time for you to go. Boom Boom stopped, alright? Here, go see mommy. Go see, go see mommy. Turn scared of Boom Booms. Where's our Terra Sunder? Yeah, exactly. Ridiculous. They're going to bin a Sangir Connoisseur. That's a good card to get back. All right, yeah, we're screwed. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, folks. Uh, things have not lined up well for us this game. Card's pretty busted, except when it doesn't work at all and your opponent just kills it immediately. That, that's, uh, that's a thing, too. Yeah, sure. What's up, Les Paul? Thanks for the resub. Espionage again. So they're going to get back Connoisseur, I guess. Let's just kick, let's kick this Espionage first, see, what's, see what happens. Uh, we're probably going to do one. Draw Land Vortex. We could get, like, really aggressive here and just bounce the Urg and try and kill them with the, uh, with the Rona ability. They discarded Soul of Wind. This is ridiculous. Alright. Uh, we need to win the game, like, now. There's no, uh... Something else to say about it. Um, they're they're gonna take their own creature. They're, not, they're not taking they're not taking my th my stuff. So, um, they have literally infinite value. They have they're gonna get back creature and they have their repossession to get back two more creatures. We need to kill them. Uh, we need to end this game as soon as humanly possible. Um, they're at eight. We can bounce the Erg. Just attack with both. They'll probably block and trade and take three. And they go to four. This is three. Um, yeah, I'm in. Bouncing is as good as blocking, as, as killing here. Because we literally need to end the game in the next two turns. We're not going to win anyway. And they only can play so many things, so... Alright, down to four. And then we're going to cast this. And we're going to return... I think our... Desecrator. Go to three. And say go. This thing can gain life, too. But it then lands in their hand as well. We can Desecrate her back a spell. Um... Alright, so I imagine they're getting the... Uh, they have a land in the graveyard too, they do not for Soul Wind Grace. So many cards in their hand, jeez. Here 
Alright. Oh, that's so sick. They can stack the trigger and then discard it. Because it doesn't target? Really? It doesn't target? Oh my god. Who designed this card? Alright, never at six. Play Erg. Got a long way to go this game. Soul gaining life is so gross. Um, and then you get this cruelty back too. Or it's six. Got that. If it ain't getting the three life there, I think we had a pretty good chance to win this game. But now I think we are. Uh, I think we are in big trouble. We could ship the, the wind grace here, and then we are putting them to five. They just get back the cruelty, gain two life. Why does everything freaking gain life too? Getting rid of Soul Wind Grace doesn't win us the game, I don't think. We get rid of Soul Wind Grace and then what? They just like buy back the saga, we can't attack. Kind of want to sh draw, I don't know. I guess we just like have to. Alright, whatever. I guess I could have done an instant speed. Eh, whatever. They go to five. They're about to go to seven off this thing. Ugh. Alright, say go. We need to draw some heaters. Oh, that's sorcery, right? You got it. They mill over a land. Your deck is very good. We're already, we're already, we already cast both espionages too. They buy the connoisseur and the cruelty, and they play a barricade. This is only minus three, minus three at present. Convenient that they have two large top of creatures in play. Alright, that's us take out. They're gonna see our, our drag as soon as they cast Cruelty, too. What's up, Graddy? I don't like having expectations, you know? Ship Prodigy, sure. Incidental, like, five life they gain this game is probably going to win the game. There's a land. They have seven mana. Cast Cruelty. They're going to look at my hand. See, drag the bottom, which makes it a lot worse, obviously. Do I like country music? Uh, not particularly. They have to Grim Tutors. So they do go to... Uh, they do go to th to four here. So now if they uh they block Splatter Goblin with the barricade, I guess the drag only kills the barricade then. Or 
I want things to die before the Connoisseur comes down, also. They're not going to cast Vampire into my, into my drag, obviously. And they're going to tutor for a card, too. God. We're doing this now because I don't want to do it after the event. The connoisseur already comes down. They're going to three. I mean, they're going to get like the best card, obviously, but I don't know what they can get. What we what we can beat here? They just get like the freaking mythic back again or whatever. So if we draw like if we can draw, if they get wind grace back. They cast it, and we draw like a Talarian Geyser or something like that. Like, maybe we can see across the finish line here. They go to three. What's up, Hash? Thanks for reset. Appreciate it. This is quite the first game of the day, right? Jeez. <laughs> Phyrexian Rager down to two. Extinguish the Necromass. God damn it. Spells. Triple Extinguish. Yeah, their, their deck's very good. There's no question there. I mean, definitely a very good deck. Multiple good rares. A lot of removal. Double Phyrexian Rager. I should... Uh, yeah, I should, I should hold this, yeah. Um, they're going to get my Desecrator and then buy back a spell. They got to buy back the possession and get back the thing again. <laughs> It's funny I have a life gain here. It's just so gross. Get back Cruelty and Barricade. Yeah, I uh, don't think you're winning this game, folks. We're trying, but... Vortex. So you go. At least they'll mill themselves. I mean, they have plenty of good spells. We're not going to... They're going to kill us before they dug out. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we just send the soul away again, I guess. To the old bottom. Put them to three, have no attacks. Yeah, sure, I guess. All right. Get off my plane. Down to three. They've cast, what, like seven rares this game? They cast this thing three times, this thing twice, something like that. They're going to sack it and gain a life, sure. 
I just get it back now. Oh, I missed that. I, I didn't see that. Sure. So I can just get it back with this thing. Ugh. That does feel very hopeless. Yes, I agree. Casting Cruelty for the third time. Remember, folks, it has read ahead. You can skip the first two chapters. What are you hoping to draw? I don't know. It's Larian Geyser's a start, I guess, right? All right, cast the Larian Geyser. It's funny how badly these two cards play together. This is a card pulls all lands out of your graveyard, but it's a Geyser of a Soul. Lose life. Could sack in response, I guess, but that seems weird, so. Yeah, problem is we have like a ton of lands in our in our deck right now. Our, our land density is super high. Just milled over an eerie soul tender also. Maybe decking is our only way to win. Whatever I kill, I can just get back anyway. So, uh, let me just say go. Eight cards left. Yeah, we can't ever, like, actually win. Um, but maybe we can deck them. That's probably... Because they, they have infinite life with the, with the Urg and the Soul. Trying to bait out a spell or activation or something here so I can cast Extinguish. I think this thing has freaking uh, Scar to land to get Instructable. So if they have a land on their hand, I'm screwed. That's true. Hopefully, let's do it. We're still do it. I can do a response. You can't have two lands in their hand, right? There's no way. Scarring a land. All right, let's go for it. Here we go. No second land, please. Worth a shot. Alright, so they kill my thing. I guess I can just cast it again, which is fine. Now they can't do more stuff, so they buy a little more time and try and deck them somehow. They play a 2 2. We draw another land. Let's cast this thing out of a graveyard. Let's say go. Why are Goblin Tokens sad? Like, our opponent is a very good player playing an insane deck, and we're, like, hanging in the game. Our deck's good, you know, like... They've cast Soul Ringer six times this game, you know, like... Alright, um... 
5, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's like very likely they have a land in their hand, honestly. Just take five, I think. Oh, look, another land. Sweet. All right, so you go. We still have braids? <laughs> what does braids do? <laughs> it's cool. I like braids, but it doesn't really do too much here. Trying to block, I guess. Here we go. Can always recast the Rona, so. No, only have, only one Rona. Right now, our de our mini guards our deck are one braids, one soaring Drake, one tribute, one scatter, one swarm, and one vortex and lands. Gonna kill the Librarian this time. They got six cards left. Yeah, I think we uh, we are no outs. Yeah, we just have a million lands anyway, so. Alright, they got us. Alright, yeah, I mean, Bones deck was uh, about as good as it could possibly be. And uh, we hung in. We were in the game. Just fine with me, you know, like, I'll, I'll take that. So, let's go. Cool. Oh, one. All the Mythic players ran out of the woodworks today. Trying to keep us from getting, uh, getting Bronze to Mythic. Well, screw that. Not on my watch. Alright, get the hell out of here. Let's go. That was a good game. That was a good game. Our prior game. So we got Scatter, Geyser. Uh, no black, unfortunately. We have many black sources in our deck, but... Uh, can't cast that on... Oh, or the play, never mind. I'm gonna ask Vinash here. I just wanna draw off some black sources. Sure. Find some good thing to scatter later. We'd be the bounce spell for the scatter also. It's kind of cute. So we need double black for these spells. We don't draw double black, but that's fine. We can make this work. Tap land. Go. Alright. I mean... Thank you. Imagine if I was in a gate. Yeah, it would have sucked. That's a good card. Alright, so we're gonna geyser that, probably scatter it on the way back down. It's a little obvious to scatter here if we didn't kick it, but whatever, we'll see what they do. Alright, let's keep the train rolling here. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's landing helix! Oh my god! This one can't miss, right? Like, come on. The last one missed. Chapter one. Their hand is Telerian Terror, Micromancer, Academy Wall, Prodigy. That's, that's not, their hands their hand stacked, actually. Um, good thing we had the scatter for their things. They have shore up. Telerian Terror is pretty beefy. Um, Micromancer is obviously very good. Right? Micromancer can go get the uh, it can go get the thing that re recurs it. We don't have green yet, so I think it's just Terror. They have one spell in the bin. Terror is the biggest threat, I think. Micromancer is really good, but yeah, I think Terror. Attack. Next turn we get to Vamp for a, or uh, Grim Tutor for a card. Also, what's it gonna be? I'm not sure. Play Micromancer. Micromancer is really good. We do have like a bunch of vortexes in our deck too, but we get tail swipe. But they tapped in a manner, maybe they, a manner where they can't cast tail swipe. Sure. So let's search for a card here. What are we gonna get? Pick guard, any card. Um, what do we want? 
extinguish. I don't really want a um, a removal spell because they have the uh, the shore up. Obviously, we have nothing in the bin for our necromass. Drag the bottom is not particularly exciting here. Um, Rona can recast like. Espionage? Do we have an espionage, though? Hmm. He has Rone of his turn. We can cast Splatter Goblin also. And they have a Tail Swipe in their hand also. It's so, like they're going to kill whatever I get, probably. hi yi yi Uh, so many options. I want to cast. I want to cast Connoisseur this turn. So like, drag is minus four, minus four. All right, let's get Rona. I love how everything in chat that says has been said is totally incorrect. Can't vortex your own creatures. Uh -huh. Yeah. So play Drake. We're gonna play. I can't play Ronan Spider Goblin. God damn it. Um. Maybe we just. Uh, we're getting back Terror next turn. I took Ronan. I thought I could Ronan and Spider Goblin. I can't though. Play kind of survey, just kill it. If I play the uh, the Rona, they might just kill it with the tail slide, which I actually actively want them to do. So yeah, let's do this, I guess. Trying to draw a tail swipe on the Rona, because Rona's whatever anyway. Then we'll get their five five and play our connoisseur. Sure, this worked out as we wanted it to. Attack for four. Gosh, it's insane. Some of the best comments of a set. Super good guard. Play the academy wall, leave up shore up. Sure. Fine on me, honestly. We're gonna go get our get the Trillarian's error. Get the big fatty. And uh, now we're gonna attack and play attack with this, play Spider Goblin and Connoisseur. We're gonna play this. Play Connoisseur. Play Splatter Goblin. And now we are way ahead on board. They have a pump spell, obviously, but like whatever. Um, it's funny, like, we could just block with terror and make them use the pump spell. Takes up a good chunk of their turn. They're gonna battle mystic, sure. I mean now that was was that that wasn't good. <laughs> Because now I can block with the Spider Robin and just kill their Mystic. Or I can just play Braids. And sack the uh, the Battling Mystic. Okay. So we're not going to attack with a... I want to just kill this with the, with the Spider Goblin. I think we just kick the Espionage and try and draw land. And then cast Braids. Just kick the Espionage is good anyway. So... If you, don't, if, you don't, if you don't draw a land, so be it. Whatever, you know? Kick this. Can I kick it? Damn it. <laughs> sure. That's fine. Discard the wall. We didn't draw a land, obviously. Um... This card's so awkward with us. We only have the one green source. Play land. Play land, just say go. 
I'm not going to play any of their pump spells. They have much less mana than I do, so it's, much, it's very hard for them to keep leaving, leaving all these spells up. And our hand's just freaking great, so... Double Micromancer, wow. Sure. They have a Ronus Vortex, they can get my they have the Solarian Terror back, but I doubt they're playing that because they have a journey black sources, so. Double Micromancer and Ardak have been pretty sweet, yeah. Tough games today so far. Gaia's Might. They have always pump spells. But we've got a lot of stuff too. Um, so we're gonna play this. Hmm. Kill this with Spider Goblin. If I attack and they go to pump, they just win the combat because I can't try and kill it anyway. Just play braids, I guess, and just say go. Um, braids. I could go braids, repossess, play Rona. Don't know if that's like necessary. It is the the most mana efficient thing to do. Uh, I guess I could braids the vortex up also. I'll just play braids. Braids is pretty sick here, honestly. And we're just gonna say go. Again, not attacking the pump spells. You know, we, we have our entire hand, so... Then we're going to end turn. We're going to sack Spider Goblin. Alright, go away. Sack this. Target the battling with the minus one, minus one. And they got to sacrifice a... Uh... Oh, wait. Hmm. If you do... That's true. Okay, so never mind. I screwed up. So, Braids is... It has to die in... The creature dies in the trigger... The sack's not part of the cost, so they can just sack before I do it. So that's fine. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know that. That's my mistake, but it's still a good, good exchange for us, I think. So, Connoisseur goes up, still have braids in play, and now we're gonna say go. Uh, and this is why we take rares, folks. This is why it's important to play rares in your, uh, in your practice drafts because you want to know how they work for when you're actually playing an important draft. And you're the, the experience you get playing with a rare is very, very valuable. So now I know that. So if I fight Braids at Worlds, I'm good to go. So Prodigy is here. I can draw a card. Uh, they're going to draw a card. But at this point, they're just like falling pretty far behind. They still have double trick up. But I don't think it matters that much. Like Now they have no flyers. We've got a 5-5. Five, five. That's a flyer. Okay. If a player casts a spell, it targets only a single creature other than this. You may copy that spell, it targets this. Okay, so... Okay. Uh, that is cute, yes. We just drew a re- a re-kill. So... We... I think we attempt to geyser it. They they shore up We Tribute. And they'll pump one of the other creatures too, which is fine. And I get him in the air, and then we're good to go. So we get it for seven. And they're just like pretty dead. I guess we just act first, right? We attack first. I don't know if they're going to block, though. That's a thing. Like, so... If I attack a bolt, they just take it. And then they can swing back for like a decent amount. Just attack. I send in terror also. Terror also might incite a block. Whew, man, these games are hard. Um, this is fun. Gonna take it, sure. Get 
can buy back the Splatter Goblin and sack it to Braids. And it forces them to sack this. I like that, actually. God, these games are hard. Um... They have a lot to kill this by this turn cycle, so. Alright, they're going for it. So they're going to sack the wall and then pump, try and pump their stuff, and then I kill it response. So, targets this. Copy the spell, it targets Ivy. They're playing Shorp here. We kill this. Okay. Sure. Game. Blouses. <sighs> All right. Cool. That was a cool game. That was a, a very. That was a challenging game for sure. Uh, we'll take it. One on one. Opponent's actually not in mythic. Who would have thought? Um, two lander on the play with three drop geyser. And like obviously we can vortex defensively if we like really have to. I'm gonna keep. <sighs> Gotta keep. Let's go. Grotto. I I I not taking that grotto is one of my big regrets in this draft. Uh we had a late grotto we could have taken. Would have been so good in our deck. We should have like a few off-color kickers we really want the colors for. Uh, big mistake. Big mistake. Alright, so core... Oh no, it's the freaking wall deck? God damn it. Alright. Uh, so you're soaring, Drake. Say go. We're probably gonna geyser next turn. Try and draw, draw, draw land four. God, I hate the wall deck. Raph Brannigan. Alright, so... We're gonna bounce Raph. And try and draw land. Please draw land. Please, please, please. Damn it. So, our hand's pretty juiced. Raph Branding it. Oh, they don't have lands either. Oh my god, what a massacre this is. Um, Alright, we're going to just cast Espionage. Because we're trying to... Uh, Draw land five here. All right. Well, we found land five. That's for sure. Tag for two. Cruelty of Gix. Come on down. We are one and one at present. Draft seventeen, episode seventeen. Bronze to Mythic. Show where I draft my account for Bronze to Mythic. If you're interested in it, welcome to the follow button. Watching YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Tag for one. Sure. And play a Tide Turner. And a draw. They're definitely the wall deck. So let's check that hand out. So they got a wall in there. Here we go. Cruelty of Gix. Bingo. Chapter one. They've got an Academy Wall, a Faith Bonder, a Tolarian Geyser, and a Founding the Third Path. I have uh, I have seen better hands. I'm not gonna lie. Take the Academy Wall here because the Faith Bonder is pretty terrible. Uh, Geyser will draw a card. Geyser's pretty annoying here, actually. I don't actually have any good, any good creatures to steal, either. Should I be, like, waiting on Cruelty? Should I, should I like, not be casting it on turn 5? I feel like we've had uh, the problem now multiple times where our opponent just hasn't had a, 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 a good creature to take. Um, it's very strange. We have no way to make ourselves discard. I guess it's Academy Wall. 
All right, like, I get to Grim Tutor next turn? What am I tutoring for? Huh. Yeah, like, playing on turn five just seems, seems insane, right? Like, we just, like, take their best card, tutor, and then get the best card back. Talarian Geyser, bounce, Drake, draw a card, kick it. Pretty good. We gotta kill Rap, I think. Like, now-ish. Alright. We're gonna draw. And we're gonna look, go tutor for... Oh! Drag the bottom. Never mind. Uh, we can't kill the Coral Colony. Is killing everything else worth it? Yeah, I think it is. Let's just drag the bottom. No scatter. We just, we, if you kill all the walls, then the chapel doesn't do anything, really, so... It's still good, but... All right, so just land. And now we kill everything. Now we can get the raft back, too. Which is pretty sick, actually, so. Dry the waters. And, uh, so go. Obviously missed on the colony, which kind of sucks, but. Raft Brain again. The Lookout. Lookout, lookout is good, but Ronan's Vortex does that very cleanly. Faith Bonders, whatever. And say go. We're going to untap, and we're going to get the Raft Brain again from the graveyard. Raft Brain again. Play Land. Could play Drake and then Vortex the Lookout and draw a card. Which is pretty sick. Um, yeah, man. Let's just do this now. Hit this. Draw a card. And... Say go. Attack for two. We are at 17. We did, we did Grim Tutor, so... Funny that the wall can enlist somehow, which is kind of ridiculous, but you know, whatever, you know? Founding the third path. They can cast a spell for free. Okay, they're going to mill. Okay, they're going to mill four cards. Mill me for four? Why would you want to mill me? All right, sure. I drew a beachfront for... Oh, actually, never mind. This is double white. Um, okay, so we're going to... Can I Connoisseur Necromass? No, I'm one short on that. Um, next turn, they're going to exile an instant from the graveyard and cast it, which is Talarian Geyser, which is fine. Um, a, yeah, whatever, I guess. And, like, their hand's kind of bad, so. Play this. We'll just play. They're in a Geyser, but whatever. I mean, like, let's we'll play. Play this and they'll, they'll bounce it, whatever. It's not a big deal. Play this, play land, so go. So cast Geyser, sure. This card's kind of cool. I saw people playing this card in uh, in Shadow and Historic, which is kind of cool. Let's bounce this, yada yada yada. Draw a card, gain life. They could have guys with the Raff and didn't, uh, which is uh, I missed. I guess I missed that too. But I was talking things out too quickly. Could have gotten the Raff back and chose not to. We're gonna attack for two here. Uh, I'm gonna block. Sure. Coral Collar number two. We are at uh, at 16 cards left. We have obviously have infinite removal spells also, though, so... Untap and draw. Play a land. We can, like... Connoisseur, Geyser, one of the colonies. Gain life, draw. It's all reasonable, I think. Yeah, let's just do this. Kicker, bounce, draw. Sure, that's cool, too. Deck. We have 13 cards in our deck. There's one wall in play. Infinite rule spells in our hand, too, so. Play another wall. Sure. Our clock isn't, like, particularly fast here, but. Uh, 
we play land. We have 10 mana. We can go Rona, Extinguish, Draw, Attack for 2. Sure. It's funny that we, we, drawing cards is sort of like milling us. Um, yeah. I mean, we'll, uh, we'll win eventually, right? Three cards at end? Oops. Attack for two, yada, yada, yada. Six lands. Sure. Just like, kill all their stuff, right? Like, untap, play lands. We vortex to kill the thingy, draw a card, attack for three. They can mill for one. We have 10 cards. We need to be aware of not getting decked. That is like a, an actual thing. But let's just start here. Let's kill this. Uh, I'm gonna draw. I think drawing's fine. It's 10, it's nine, they mill to eight. Yeah, we, we suck. Our deck is 11% lands. Because we have eight spells and one land left. And... We can also we can just kill the colony now too, I guess. And then just like start winning next turn. Hmm. Alright. Because they did it like this, I'm just gonna kill the colony. So we're actually gonna build zero cards now. Because the they don't it'll count our resolution. So let's just do this. That's gone. Mill zero. Take damage. They go. Our deck is currently Braids, Librarian, Espionage, Urborg, Splatter, Goblin, Scatter, Repossession. <laughs> Combat Research on the Faith Bonder. Top card land. Oh, I figured it out! They figured it out! But they can't cast it. Did they kick that too? I guess they wanted to kick that, so that's fair. Alright, uh, attack. Librarian Necromass. Scry. Top card is Tribute and then Desecrator. I think that's fine as is. Wrath me. I want you to do it. I can recast the Faithful from the Graveyard anyway if they do have a Wrath here, so. Cavalier gains some life. Not enough life, but. And not playing the Wrath brand again? Alright, sure, whatever. No tappy thing? They have a trick, we blow them out, and they die. This is exactly lethal. What do you got? Would it help if I got out and pushed? Uh, pass priority. Join forces. You're dead. After it was all over, he took us in the house of service pancake. Sweet. Love, much less interesting than the first two games, but hey, a W is a W, right? We'll take it. Back to the high mythic players. Let's keep it going. Why is the poker command not working? Bot's not working? Poker's Saturday in the Discord for subscribers. Poker Saturday in the Discord of subscribers. Uh, the bots not working right now. I don't know why. 
Steel Crusher. Hand is juiced. Need some lands. What's up, anybody? Play 55 cards? Oh, second, I didn't even notice. Good games, my friend. Yeah, was, we were scared of the decking there. You, you were as close. Good game, my friend. Benelish, Sleeper as a 3 1, say go. Alright, so we're both having land problems. Uh, let's loot. And draw. It is a land. Uh, we're going to discard, I guess, one of these espionages. We're obviously uh, pretty flush of cards right now. Play Haunted Meyer and just say go. We're, we might Vortex a Sleeper, honestly. Zach, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Um, they could recast it and kill my thing, but that's fine, I think. I'm just going to bounce this. Hands full of gas, so... I like, almost want them to recast this. Play Vanguard instead, sure. Untap and draw Splatter Goblin. Splatter Goblin is good to play after they play this. Uh, I think we're going to just draw two here. What's up, Zach? Appreciate it. Thanks so much. So we want to make a land drop. We could, like... I guess we could scry and put a land on top. We could draw it. I want to scry any more spells, though, honestly. So, let's play this thing. Draw two. Oh, sweet, Zach. Play land. Just go. Dub Splatter Goblin is not bad here at all as far as staying alive goes. This is a hit. This is definitely a hit. And they're not going to play anything else. Interesting. Why would they not play the Sleeper here? Tolarian Geyser. Right. Um... I mean, we just, like, play both Splatter Goblins, right? I'm very strange here they would not play this. Whatever, sure, yeah. And then, um... Just play these and say, yeah, we could have, like, looted for a land, maybe. I really hate discarding spells, though, so... Just gonna say, yeah. Waiting for a token? There you go. That's why. But now we're in great shape, so... Zach already played it. It's already on the YouTube, so go check it out. Oh, this is a different one. I played his, like, his Bant Storm deck. It's pretty cool. Yeah, Splatter Goblin D's up real hard here. Uh, we wanna, we have, we have, I gotta kill this Vanguard at some point, but... Our hand's obviously gassed up. We can just guide to the Vanguard, too. Oh, it's white-green? That's kind of cool. Hello, opponent. If we draw... If we... We're going to loot here. Wow. Actually, hold on a second. I got really upset for a second, and then I realized this is with zero kickers. Just a naked Archangel of Wrath. Completely naked. Uh, okay. That's interesting. That's a, that's a very odd choice. Why would they do that? Why would they not want to wait for more value? They obviously have no lands in their hand. Um, they feel that desperate to get the, uh, the flyer into play. Charge could be a thing. Let's loot. Necromass. Currently have zero creatures in the bin. Um. I feel like we have to extinguish the angel. Um. I guess we could vortex it. Yeah, maybe I guess vortex is better. So we discard librarian or necromass here. I guess probably Necromancer, I mean Vibrarian. Necromancer is really good, obviously, and Librarian's pretty bad, so. There's a land. 
Um, yeah, we're going to kill this angel. We're not going to let them untap with it. Is there anything they can have in these colors that can stop me from vortexing the angel? I don't think so, right? There's no protection spells or anything like that. So we can just wait and let them, like, do their thing. Yeah, play land. Just say go. It's funny because, like, a 3 4 flyer lifelink for 4 is, like, really good and limited anyway. But, clearly, the kickers are what makes it really good. Can I kick it? To the bottom with you! Riven Protector, sure. Uh, okay. I mean, that's a great target for Calarian Geyser, so I guess we're gonna loot. Discard a land. Another land. Uh, let's Geyser first. We have Dragon Bomb in our deck too, so we're going to Essence Scatter. We can't cast it. Awkward. Let's loot. Also awkward. Uh, we. Cruelty's a little awkward because the life loss is relevant here. Maybe discarding there was a little too aggressive. I mean, looting was a little too aggressive because the blocker is pretty relevant. Now, if they draw a land and fire up the Vanguard, because she'd be a little bit of trouble. Yeah, that was a mistake. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have looted, I don't think. Uh, alright. We can just, like... It's funny, if we killed the angel, it would have been so much better to have this thing, too. Uh, that's annoying, but sure. Five cards in hand. Sleeper, a griffin, and three non-lands. <sighs> Draw a land's really bad for us. How is another land? Next turn I might want to go extinguish plus scatter. Or if I draw a land, go cruelty plus scatter. I think vampire is probably our worst card. It could be good, but it's like very clunky and shitty. Makes this cost less, too. So, if they go... If I guess if they go land, pump, vanguard, attack with everything, I just block with both, so... Attack with both tokens. We could just, like, block both splatter goblins and then kill the vanguard. And necromance is super cheap. Yeah, I love that, actually. Oh, yeah, that was great. That was wonderful. Here's Griffin. We draw land, and now I can go Necromance Extinguisher Light. I like that. That's all pretty cool. Um, sign me up, yeah. Do I want to loot first? I don't think so. This thing. Land. Necromass. I'm gonna kill this now. I'm not gonna let them have a uh, the, the the trick. So Defense. I'm just like I'm just playing it like super conservatively here. Next turn we have cruelty plus scatter. I wanna keep my lance a little high so my Grim Tutor doesn't, doesn't kill us. They have destroy evil, that's pretty good. Alright, and then cast the 3-1. Uh, the no, play Goblin Picker instead. We draw Soaring Drake. Alright, now things are a little awkward, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Uh, because now they've uh, they had a kill spell for my big idiot, and they have two good attackers. So if I play Cruelty here, I'm effectively at 7, and then I have to almost like jump block, stay alive. Um, I could loot, try and loot and draw land, so I can go Cruelty plus Soaring, Soaring Drake, discard the Scatter. Let's loot. I could also... What do I have in the graveyard? Uh, I could, like, recast a removal spell, too. But that's, like, not great. So let's loot. 
All right, this is fine. Let's do this. So discard scatter. Play cruelty. And chapter one. Look at the hand. The hand's got a Cyclops, a Strike Team, which is terrifying. A Cavalier and a Sleeper. Um, we're going to take the Strike Team. This is the most threat immediately threatening card. Um, and yeah, this is multiple cards in one. Play land, play this. And now I get the tutor a card that I want. If they go creature, creature, I get to get the Wrath. Um, and then get back the 5-5, five, five, probably. Really, I'm impressed with how challenging these uh, these games have been. This has really been a very, very difficult format. Right, so we're going to end list. We, should, we definitely block here. Block. Cool. They're going to infusion to kill my looter. Pretty good draw. And play Cavalier. Alright, so let's draw for our turn. It's a freaking swamp. So... I guess we're going to tutor the Wrath here. And then... They have a Cyclops. We have a 5-5. Five five. They have a... They have a thing. They have a sleeper to kill my uh, to kill my five five. I get the five five back. So it might not even be the five five. It might be something else. Might be the desecrator. Just get, just get back a spell again. All right. Let's get the dragon. Just cast it. Really? I am very surprised with that. I did just play the Naked Sleeper. And I have a, a guaranteed 5-5 five five coming. Alright, sick. So, and I, I drew a creature anyway, so... We, um... We've got, uh... Is it Connoisseur, maybe? Is that too greedy? Connoisseur, Splatter Goblin, Block Sleeper. I guess they, they draw a land, they can, they can uh... Start Cyclopsing stuff. If I get the Vaudelian, uh get back a card draw spell or something like that. I think Connoisseur is better, actually. Is that a Lightning Strike? Yeah. I mean, sure. But... We don't have a we don't have repo in our graveyard. It was in our library. All right, so here's her Cyclops. Here's the faithful. Uh, they can sack this to kill this. It's fine. It still blocks that. Yes, it's fine. Just stack. I think we're turning the corner here. Maybe like a little bit risky on the attack, but. Two good blockers, and this thing dies to kill this, so... Worst case, they kill this thing, I just jump block and kill the sleeper, so... Unfortunately, our deck is, like, pretty land Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Oh, that's it? Oh, yeah, they can sack it? See, this is unbelievable. All right, well, that was disgusting, and now we have a good chance to lose. Uh, that is definitely not cool. They drew a Threaten for their Cyclops. Well, that doesn't seem particularly good, but we are uh, we are losing. Oh, never mind. Now we're winning, I think. Um, we get back Desecrator and... A flyer that can block this. We gain some life. We have enough mana to cast this. 
flyer and desecrator. So I think I get a two three flyer. Get back two three flyer and this thing, and this thing can get back the uh, three the the repo. And then we go Drake, play this thing. Then next turn, this thing gets back the repo, which gets back the, the Saga and like the Necromass. I still want to kind of hold the lands for this thing if it dies. Uh, next turn is going to be two mana for this, three mana for that, that's five. If I want to play the Saga... The saga is just worse than getting things back directly anyway, so... This is, uh, this is fine. I'll just say, go. How can we gain life? Do we have ways to gain life? We do not. I want to just get a kill top with a freaking Cyclops, honestly. Instead of getting the loopy thing. Oh, wow. This is crazy. They're going to sack two creatures to kill my Desecrator. That's awesome. All right, I'm in. Because the thing is, uh, they, there's like the equation of like, if they have this thing in play, if our life total is the number of creatures, we just lose. But now we're at six and then I have two creatures, so. All right. Yeah, we're just going to say go. Our deck is... Tribute, Geyser, Braids, Battlefly, Vortex. We have almost nothing left. Holy shit. We have like seven cards in our deck. Yeah, I mean, playing the two drop was like a little bit greedy, I guess. But I'm pretty happy with them killing two creatures, honestly. You know? Geyser or Tribute or Vor we, have, we have Geyser Tribute Vortex and Braids. Uh, Braids is actually pretty. I mean, they just sacrificed the Cavalier, but I guess Splatter Goblin can attack because they can't block. So maybe Goblin should attack last turn. No, yeah, I was saying, I mean, I made mean, I mean, I mean, a mistake. I could also sack the, the Faithful, honestly, and just get it back. At that point, though, I want to leave Goblin back on defense, I think, though. I sack Goblin, they just they sacked Cavalier, which is fine. Just like that. Put this here. Say go. Vanguard's a little annoying. Uh, let's draw a removal spell here, please. Our deck is six cards, and the, I think three of them are removal spells, right? Yeah, we have Geyser, Tribute, Battlefly, Rona, two land. Literally half our deck is removal spells. Um... They draw a kill spell, which is very bad for us, but I think this is fine. They, they can pump. I chump block and trade here, and then just buy this thing back. I sack land, they sack land. I don't know if that's like... I don't know if trading lands is good for us here. I guess they have this thing in place. I don't want to I'll sack a land. I'll sack a land, sure. What's up, Marty? Thanks to Ray. Appreciate it. Marty! 
makes it harder for them to, to pump this and do other stuff too. We really have a use for a million mana, so. Okay. They swing and pump here, it's fine for us, I think, so. All right, this is a freaking joke, come on! We have four cards in our deck. They are all spells. Rona's Vortex, Battlefly Swarm, Tribute to Urborg, and Talarian Geyser. Ridiculous. Uh, same play as last turn. And... Let's hold the lands, I think. Sack a land. Only gets one spell a turn anyway, so... They're gonna let me draw? Wow. That is, that is something. That is something. All right, you know what we say, folks. Nope, wrong one. Get off my plane. Uh, let's geyser the, the van, Vanguard with Kicker. Use life, kill the Cyclops, and then kill you dead. Trying to learn my mill is one thing, but like, I don't know. You know, like, I guess they don't know what our deck is, but. Like, I feel like they'd rather just draw spells themselves, maybe? I don't even know. Pump the thing, yada, yada, yada. They're on the mill plan, they shouldn't sacrifice it. Alright, cool. Let me just, we just have literally everything now, so that's cool. Uh, yep, 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 yep. You're dead. You're dead. Take that, 352 Mythic. My lowly diamond player beating you. How is this username allowed? <laughs> Not right now, you don't. Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, let's keep our... Let's keep our hit. Anyway, uh, let's go. <sighs> well, I guess if we're losing, we'll just call Watsy and be like, but my opponent's name is very offensive. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be allowed. <laughs> Nishoma Brawler. Get out of here. Maybe we're going to like... Tried to save that for a more value creature, but we don't have a, we don't have a card that she can kill it right now. So, all right, draw two, two lands, and I wish I waited. You're the man now, dog. You're the man now, dog. Uh, play land, play those things. So they go mono green. You have mono green uh, domain deck. Okay, now scatter's a possibility too, but I have just repo so. We're jamming here. Scatter me. Scatter me everywhere. Nope. Okay, cool. But I poo from there. Cruelty of Gix. Well, this game's going well. Uh, do you have a gate? No. <laughs> How many colors in their hand? Lots of colors, right? Oh, yeah. Lots of colors. Monstrosity, Branch Rider, Monstrosity, Sprouting Goblin, Bellow, Tail Swipe. Okay. Give me your Monstrosity. And then, uh, yeah, okay. That, that's that's fine. Game. <laughs> Blouses. Sorry, I poo from there. I, I gotcha. I don't know. We'll see. Gotta work on the dad bot, I know, right? Uh, keep this. Hands good. And, uh, get the looter. Looter Drake, Connoisseur. Herbalist. Is it like crazy to want to block here? Our hand's like pretty good. Doesn't really need much looting. I don't want Herbalist to act over and over and over again. Like, I don't think the looter aspect nor the flashback 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 aspect here are particularly uh exciting. Rather than just like use a trick or a trade and not scry every turn. I'm gonna block. Our hand's pretty good. Cavalier, great. Card's lining up perfectly here. 
All right. Any promo codes for Stream Deck? I do not, unfortunately, but please use my link to buy it if you want to. Stream Decks are freaking awesome. I am, of course, a, an, an Elgato partner. I spelled it wrong. I did. Whoops. <laughs> uh, Elgato partner, spelling the name wrong. We're going to play Braids, and we're going to not use it, but it's fine. We're going to attack, or no? 23 to 20 trading blows here. They have three mana up also. Eh, that's my Braids. Oh, that's a go. Hey, this is a go. No sex. Connoisseur, Espionage, Writhing Necromass. Yeah, not the best Braids deck of all time, but the card's just fine. You know, it's a 3 3 for 3. Whatever. Worst case scenario, it's just a body. We have Splatter Goblins too, so. Doesn't work like, doesn't work like I thought it did, but they're still like fodder creatures that I don't mind sacrificing. What is this? I don't have a kill spell, my all kill spell deck either. Come on, kill spell. Alright, well they get a free herbalist, which sucks, but I do have I do have Splatter Goblin or whatever, so. Um now we got a espionage, right? Because we have to draw a kill spell. So. It's not quite a kill spell. Alright. I mean, bouncing this paragon's not the worst. They do get a free 2-1. Uh, I mean, they, they, they get a 2-1, but, like, they just discarded a freaking Rona, a black, black, blue card. All right. Uh, no sacks. Next turn's Geyser Splatter Goblin. We actually can use the Geyser and the Splatter Goblin maybe to, like, get the sack on. Be kind of cool. Probe's pretty good. Boomer alert. Boomer alert. Talk about Probe in, uh, in chat now. That angel needs to be Paragon. And there it is. There's a Vortex. Okay. So... I think we want to Geyser it and play Splatter Goblin, and then we'll actually kill it next turn. So, let's Geyser. It's like a much better tempo play. Force it to recast it again. What's up, Flukerton? Draw a card. Yeah, and then we get to, like... Fire in for an attack here. Um, and then play Splatter Goblin. Yeah, this works. Actually, they have two X ones, so Splatter Goblin's insane right now. I mean, I don't want to trade, actually. Let's just attack here. I don't think we're going to sack lands the Braids scenario yet. Kind of trickier, I guess, but whatever. Sure. Play Splatter Goblin, play land. Sack Splatter Goblin. And now they have to sack before I target. So this actually works out better for us uh, than in the other way. Uh, because they have to sack one, and if they do, I get to kill the other one. Oh my god, what a massacre. Oh. oh my god. They probably should have just uh, taken the two life there, right? Let me draw a card. Woo! That was sick. Now they play Power Gone, we just kill it and the game's over. Land. Uh, I'm kind of feeling a concession here. I'm just getting the vibe. What do you think? Concession? Not yet. Alright, not yet. Scry Repo on top. Yes, please. Have the green in play too. Ah. Your turn. Uh, sacking a land... I have seven, they have five, but I have a lot to do with my mana. Like, I have a five drop and a three drop next turn. I guess I'm not drawing a land, though, right? Um, eh, whatever, sure. I love stacking lands of braids. What can I say? They're stacking a land, too? All right, sure. We can't cast two spells next turn anyway, so... Here's Charismatic Vanguard. We draw a Repo. We're going to Connoisseur and attack. I'll trade Braids off at this point, honestly. I don't really care. Braids did a job. Sure. Get it for five. Throw the Connoisseur. I have Repo. Say go.
It's so funny how, like, growing your creature is, like, a bad thing in this format. Um, oh, man, now I can't play Necromass and this thing. That sucks. All right, attack for a bunch. Um, we can Necro and then re Repo. So there's Necro and then Repo. Repo back. Connoisseur, and then we'll go for the long game with Desecrator also. So if something something goes wrong, we can, like, buy the, buy the, buy the, buy the Repo back. Game feels pretty over, but... Kicked Warhorse. Okay. Run his Vortex. Oh, it's Lightning Helix! Oh my god! And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. They chomp and go to three. Yeah, sure. Cool. I like it. I'm in. Our next suite, folks. I like it like a lot. And. Diamond three. Let's go. It's our first draft in Diamond, I think. So let's keep it going. Oh, yeah. Woo! In a hole in the ground, there's a hobbit. Not a stinky, nasty, wet hole. But it was a hobbit hole. And that meant comfort. Where's Mjolnir? That's also in John's room somewhere. Alright, I mean, this is great. Scatter. Whatever it is, scatter. That could have been like a freaking tutu of scattering, probably, so... Getting high value there is extra nice. Drake, Extinguish, Cruelty. I mean, working out pretty well. Good morning. What do you mean by that good morning? You mean it is a good morning to share? Or do you mean that I should have a good morning? Captain's Call. Well, I can't extinguish that, but I do have the uh, Splatter Goblin now. Goblin's been good, honestly. It's a good fine two drop and a good defensive guard. I'm in. Yeah, we obviously we would love to have a Solarian Terror or two from this deck, but we have we have cruelty of dicks instead, I guess. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I've been I've been looking forward to it for a Lord of the Rings rewatch. Uh, oh no. No attacks, no blocks. Yeah, I mean this is just freaking. Uh, it's cruelty time. Guards busted. Let me see your hand. What do you got? <laughs> Did I expect a green card and a bulwark? They actually, they just held the bulwark and didn't even play it. Uh, yeah, I guess. I mean, we're in this spot again. We're like, there's like nothing. To, I mean, we just didn't get back. I guess it's just like fine. It's not great, but sure. The no attacks. Take go. We get to tutor up the uh, card draw spell next turn. Duncan Dinos was gas. Yeah, watching Lord of the Rings is definitely on my on my to-do list. Uh, the, the 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 Lord of the Rings rewatch. We watched The Hobbit at my at my dad's house. Um, John read The Hobbit in school last year, so we've been watching those movies a little bit. But they're obviously not nearly as good. All right, Grim Tutor for uh for card draw spell. Yeah, it's that much card draw spell, right? Yeah. All right, espionage it is. Oh, repo. Repo, but no, uh, but no green source. Hey, Tuts. Um, PBJ is fine. Is Karn helping you? Or hindering you? Alright, you know, go on. And, uh, we're about to get their Aaron. It's an Aaron. This is like fine. Uh, we don't want to get our our uh, Rona arrested. Let's attack for one, and just like play Lance, I go, I guess. Cooking stream. Uh, I think we're gonna do that this week. Maybe, maybe I think might might do that Saturday before the uh, poker game. I think. Uh, yeah, I should say go here. You reread Lord of the Rings, The Hobbit, The Cimmerillion, and The Unfinished Tales annually? Damn. That's a lot. Uh, Alright, so that's gone. It's fine. They have two cards left. We have Rona, Repo. 
I really wish we had second green source. Like, not taking that, uh, that, uh, that grotto was so bad late in the draft. Uh, alright, so untap and braids. Braids is, uh, it's kind of cool. Rona braids go. It's not a very good braids here because they have equal lands to us and a bad creature in play, but whatever. Oh yeah, I can now read. I love Lord of the Rings. I read all. I read the books. Uh, my Lord of the Rings audiobooks are a go to on long car rides. Uh, they're so good. They have like music and sound effects and everything. It's like it's like watching a movie. It's freaking awesome. Uh, so I've read Lord of the Rings like two or three times and then audio booked it like two or three times also. Uh, but I cannot read the Cimmerillion. It's just dry as dirt. Uh -huh. Mr. Flake, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? So bonus players to kill that is great. We get to get him for four here. And uh, we can like rebuy braids and just cast it because we have the Spider Goblin now too. What's up, UNC? Get this back. Lose life. Play braids. Play Splatter Gobby. And uh, sack nothing and just say go. Yeah. Could sack a creature here and they would they'd be forced to lose two and we draw a card. So maybe sacking the swarm is actually, is actually correct. So I trade in for a card, but whatever, it's fine too. So uh yeah, sweet. We're this deck is cruising right now. Demir cruising along. Mythic, 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 mythic. Uh keep. You're making homemade chicken parma Saturday? That's what our our uh what's it called is gonna be? Our uh cooking stream. So how long BTM today? I'll be on for a while. Mike from Utah, what's up? Chicky chicky parm parm. Alright. Splatter Gooblin. Fortunately, uh, nothing to bounce with Geyser, which kind of stinks, but. That's, uh, that's a lot of colors. Alright, that's sick. We drew the, uh, the green source for Repo. That makes me happy. Very happy. So you go. I think in the war of not doing things, our deck's pretty good, so. So, Mike, yeah, but Lord of the Rings has to be pretty cool. I mean, like, I mean, like, the universe is beyond stuff's a little weird, but I freaking love Lord of the Rings, so I'm in. In for two. Harvey! Played your first in-person tournament last week and got top eight. Sweet, what format? Month number two, more, most, more, most important month, thanks to resub also. You're great. You're great. Do we have a uh, an essence scatter here? Sure, totally fine. We got Repo. Tons of kill spells, feeling great. A naked amplifier. Sure. I mean, it does trade, I guess, but... Splat. Right, so we're going to attack and trade here, and then we'll just bring back our two creatures and cast them. Just take our value and uh, recast our other things. Not super exciting, but like, they're mana screwed. We have plenty of gas in our hand. Yeah, napkins, my experience was similar with the D&D the &D set. I don't know anything about D&D. &D, so like, it, you know, an owlbear might as well be a magic card for all I know. So it didn't really, it didn't really like, like, you know, jar me at all. The Warhammer set's a little jarring for me because like, I don't know what the hell it is, but like, whatever, you know. I'm just not about the uh, the Infinity set. That's 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 too much for me. That's not my thing at all. And unfortunately, that kind of has to be my thing because like the cards are legal and stuff. But I don't know. Whatever. I might do an article so we got like hot topics. So everyone's bitching about something else. Oh, this is a May, right? Oh my God! Please, please be, please be May. Please be May. Oh, thank God. I wasn't sure if it was the festering goblin template or whatever. Um, so we have Vortex. We got. I think we have this dragon token covered. Just so I'm not gonna toss that one out there. I think we're good on that one. Uh, attack. And Sigyo. We have quad removal spell. Quads. Was there a Fortnite set? It was a secret layer. Like, I think is that, like, I think the important thing is, if they want to do a bunch of weird shit with magic, sure. I'm totally cool with that. But there has to be an opt-out policy. You know, I can opt out of a secret layer for Fortnite because I'm just not going to buy it. Who freaking cares? But... When you like take real cards and put them into formats and like 
you know, if I if if the dog space dog planeswalker ends up being good for some reason in Legacy, and I have to play it to compete or play against it to compete, now I can't opt out anymore, and that kind of sucks, you know. So here's Balmor and Flame Sage. We're gonna kill freaking everything. Uh, so they are very dead. Uh, we're gonna kill one of these, untap and kill the other one. Gain some life. Shieldred's faithful. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just kill this. I kind of guess Shield. I, I, I want to kill this attack too. So, like half of Unfinity's legal in Legacy and Vintage and Commander, but like half of it isn't. And there's a little tiny symbol that tells you what isn't. It's it just like it's just headache-inducing, you know. What's up, Zian? Thanks for resub. Haughty naughty. Bones right. is like pretty good. It's like three good rares already. Yeah, there's a space dog planeswalker. Tolarian Geyser bounce this shirt. Sure. You know, life too. Uh, no kicks. No kicks. Alright, so one mana source supply shares the dragon. And then we'll draw land here. We can do double spell. Bastard. Uh, yeah, we're gonna kill this attack. Kill this attack. Well, I answer go. Oh yeah. Woo! Sorry about all those rares you got, opponent. It'd be a real shame if something were to happen to him. You know, like they were to go to the bottom of your deck, or to your graveyard, or whatever else it might be. Micromancer? Micromancer is good. Um, we are obviously very ahead here, but I could see a world where we like, fall behind and lose this game. If they have like, a really good uh, pickup or two. We only have two creatures left. We, we draw like land, land, land. Shore up? I've already cast all my kill spells. I don't have any left. What do you want from me? Um, this is interesting. So we could cast the... Uh, the Connoisseur here, but they're only playing one thing. The problem is a Connoisseur actually just kills them next turn, whereas a sh the Drake and Shielder would not kill them next turn. We can just, like, Connoisseur attack. Um, they kind of have to block. They can Shore Up to save it, but then our thing gets bigger, and we trade Spider Goblin for Shore Up, and a 4-4 four, four Flyer in play. Um, I think I like that better than playing Drake and Shielder just faithful and just saying go. Uh, yeah. I think I like Connoisseur better, honestly. Otherwise, you're playing Drake and Shieldred and saying go. And then... I guess we can attack next turn, though, then. Yeah, it's better. Sure, whatever. It's more mana efficient. I draw a second spell, so... Might have the Jeskai Wrath. I mean, that would be impressive if they had that. Micro Shuffles. It did shuffle in the, uh, the, two, the, the rares back in, so that's kind of annoying, but... If they play Jeskai Wrath... So be it. You know, no scatter either. Yep, that's good for us. Go ahead. Play it. Temporal, whatever. Firestorm. Phase out your Micromancer. Prime time. I'm ready for prime time. ZZ, new sub, what's your name, where you're from, welcome. Thanks for uh, joining the pile drivers. A uh, lookout, lookout's good. Lookout! They scattered the connoisseur? Yeah, I mean, that, that would suck, but... Land, all right. Um, I mean, our attacks here aren't really great anymore. They have scatter and shore up now. All right, so... Now we can Leroy, and... Leroy, like, gets in for a little bit, forces the shore up. Uh, we lose a resource or two, but Connoisseur grows. They go to two. Oh, man, let's do it. Obviously, if the Rona dies, I don't really care. If I straw land, we just cast it again anyway. Uh, Lookout dying is not great for us. It's not, not, not a great trade here, but sure, this is great. So they go to two. This thing is a 4-4, four, four, and I can cast the next turn if I draw land. Or a bad card. Sure, up, sure. 
So go to two. And triggers. And they mill over a Sulphur Springs Fancy. This is a 4 4. We say go. So currently dead on board. They have four cards in that, obviously, but. We're over a thousand subscribers! We did it! Infantry. Okay. And an amp fire to bounce the connoisseur. Right. Buys them a little time. Like the aggression. Um Yeah. There you go. Poker Knight's free, who cares if you're bad? That new sub, what's your name? Where are you from? Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I, I was like, a second haughty naughty? And fires a victor? Right, they're, they're starting to pop off here, folks. I'm not appreciating this. Oh, but they punted. What? what? They just miscounted? Oh my god, they miscounted. Woo! Woo, boy. That's it. I'm going to clown college. All right. Um, well, now I want to block to Grovis so I can trade with the Haughty Naughty. So we're going to block here and trade. They miscounted. Math is tough. I should have blocked this thing. That was stupid. Ah, uh, whatever. I screwed up. Yeah, sure. I should have blocked the, the infantry. Uh, Storm Runner? Huh. Could, like, attack and just, like, reanimate the Haughty Naughty. Bounce win. Oh, yeah. I can just, I can just Grim Tutor, right. All right, we're good. Okay, never mind. I guess that's, like, the the least uh, exciting of the modes, but sure, that works, I suppose. Uh, I have enough... Where's, uh... Sure. Sure. Would have gotten there eventually, probably, maybe, sort of. Seven wins! Waka, waka. Bronze the Mythic! Our deck was good! We played against Mythic players almost every round that draft. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Hype in chat, seven wins, let's go. First off, first thing we gotta do is pay, pay the Believers here. All right? Uh, believers, I like Believers. And uh, you know what? Here comes the money. Yes, we will. Pay the Believers. Then we gotta hop over here to untap.gg and take a little looky-loo at our, our deck as always. Download Untap for yourself using the link in my description, in the chat, or in the description, because Untap is the freaking bomb. And uh, let's hop on over and look at uh, look at our drafts. Seven and one. This deck felt awesome. Obviously, opening two black rares in a row is pretty uh, is pretty good. Braids wasn't necessarily great in our deck, uh, but deck was great. Good kill spells. Good recursion. We definitely really wanted at least one Talarian Terror. Uh, didn't draw drag very often. Our run was pretty good actually. Honestly, this card's fine. It's like not a card that like I don't think this card's like a draw. Like, you don't, like, slam this card and be like, I can build the Rona deck. But if you just happen to be Demir, this card's, like, pretty good. Uh, Connoisseur's fine. Um, Geyser's good. Espionage is great. Yeah, this deck was just good. Spider Goblins, we're playing, like, probably a little more Spider Goblins than we would like. But they were good defensively and good braids, which is fine, too. So, sick. 7-1. Only lost to Lola, man. Playing the insane Jun deck where they cast uh, they cast Cruelty of Gigs three times and Lord of Wind Grace four times. Uh, but aside from that, um, yeah, that was sick. Love it. YouTube folks, love you. Like, comment, subscribe. Episode 17 in the books. Episode 18 is coming up on stream. Uh, yeah, Bronson Mythic hype. Let's go.